so this is um, the dre that I remember and that I originally first started following. She's very beautiful. Um, she does amazing, amazing makeup. Uh, she is funny and she just has uh, a great personality. And I honestly enjoyed watching her lives. Uh, where she would do her makeup and like, you know, show me how to do makeup, which I need some more lessons. But um, I just truly enjoyed uh, watching her and her husband because they just um, very entertaining. So this is the Dre that I originally started following, like I said, five or six years ago, maybe even seven. I, I just haven't looked at the dates to like get in an exact. Okay, so again, you can kind of see here that, you know, they're just, they're dressed up as an older couple so it just kind of just goes to show you like their personality and their love for each other um i can say that i truly um believe that she honestly genuinely loved her husband um you can pretty much she went live all the time and posted all the time and you could just see it you know you can see that their their love for each other um and it and it was it was it was very sweet and um so there's that all right so here is vaughn again um he is or he was a, or is a u.s marine um i do not know if he ever you know was in active combat or anything like that um i had some people ask me that question um i, I didn't keep up with him as much as I kind of watched her because mostly he was in the lives but you would see a whole lot about her and um I didn't ever really dig that far into anything about his marine life that's kind of like new stuff that I learned about uh now so I don't know a whole lot about that as I was doing some digging um it looks like in around you know in 2016 he was actually admitted into the hospital. I did see a post and the post stated that um, I, people were asking him like what happened or what was wrong and he didn't he went, didn't want to go into details during that time. Um, I also seen a post where his mother actually commented on the post and telling him that she loves him and things like that and he was responding so to me that's like in 2016 and the posts are still there and he obviously had some some type of relationship you know with his mom it ain't like she was non-existent or anything and then you can actually see um you know he was in contact with like his sister um you know they they talked so um Again, during this time, I did not pay a whole lot of attention to him because it was mostly about Dre because it was her social media and it was, you know, all pretty much about her stuff and her makeup and things like that. So I didn't really do a whole lot of paying attention or focusing on him until now. Okay, so this is the time um, that she started selling her paparazzi. I don't know the year. I don't know the date. I do know that when she started selling her paparazzi, I kind of didn't really watch the whole lives uh, anymore. Um, I would kind of see them like hit and miss, but my Facebook page was like full of everybody at this point uh, selling paparazzi. So I just kind of really, you know, didn't, didn't really watch it a whole lot. Um, but as you can see, like this is obviously during a time frame when the two of them had decided on their lifestyle change and their of course had like weight loss journey i did start to notice um at some point of course scrolling on my facebook they that she was into selling um the special like herbs and like teas and different things like that um again because that just wasn't something that um i was really into i really just kind of didn't watch a whole lot about it and then a lot of times i would scroll and i would see them uh like in the kitchen and cooking and every now and then i would kind of pop up in there because i was kind of like well I wonder what they're making you know and just kind of like curious 
Um, it didn't seem like any kind of food that I was like necessarily that interested in because um, I like vegetables, I like fruits and things like that, but um, I like my meats and things. Um, so I, um, I, I just noticed the changes and things like that around that time. And that, that's probably been like a year or two ago. So that's pretty much where it has me at as of today. Um, I know like two years ago, they decided to do this lifestyle change, alkaline vegan. Um, again, like people eat uh, vegan and they're fine. Um, I have not done a lot of research on alkaline vegan. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about vegan at all. So I can't really say anything on that, on that type of lifestyle and the eating. I do know that I thought, well, wow, that's kind of great because, you know, I seen um, the weight loss like on her and how good she looked. I mean, she looked amazing before and it was just like, oh, wow, you know, like I seen the changes. I never thought anything negative or, or um, bad against that. Um, up until the day that she got on live and stated that an accident had happened, that an accident had happened to her husband, I watched the live. And, you know, she didn't want to say what had happened and she didn't have to say. Uh, I respected her for that because she didn't have to put that out there. That was personal at that moment, you know. Um, she did state that it had happened like two weeks ago. I didn't get the date until now, which was obviously um, May the 23rd of 2022. Um, at this point, again, she still never told us what happened. She just said that he had um, a head a head injury so she did go on to tell us his condition being in the hospital she told us what the doctors had kind of suggested to her on what she should do um, she just stated that that's not what she was going to accept and me uh, as a believer as well I <clears throat> I wouldn't eat and she just basically was asking everybody to um, not give her any kind of negative energy because that's not what she needed at this time in her life. Um, she didn't really want to be sad because she wanted to be strong for him. And I can understand that. You know, she has to stay, maintain her, her, her life, like with her kids as a mother and as a wife. So she was basically like, you know, she couldn't have time to be sad even though she was hurt. Um, but she just was trying to keep her faith strong and praying and asking God for, you know, a miracle and that he would come up out of this. So anyways, time goes by. Um, of course, I was heartbroken for her. Then I had noticed that she was on um, TikTok and then she was, you know, going, uh, giving updates like with his videos of him in the hospital and things like that. Um, I noticed that... Um, there was getting a lot of views and she would give her little updates and things like that on Facebook. So I would kind of pop in and out over there, just kind of checking on him and on the situation. Um, a few weeks goes by and before too long, it's like I start noticing these group pages. Um, and they're like saying, you know, like justice for Vaughn and things like that. So I start to kind of look into it and that's like why we're here now. Um, of course, uh, I'm still looking into it. We all are um, at this point. So at this point, there's so much speculation, uh, accusations. There's so many people um, that are commenting on it and involved in it and following it. And, um, you know, these group pages got together because they want it to see something happen and that's exactly what happened I mean it worked so here we are um, people actually reached out to the hospitals um, they've spoken with his mom you know his mom and them I know that the dad was uh, I, I watched the live uh, she wasn't allowing him to come to the hospital um, I, I don't think that's right um, so there's at this point there's still a lot and we're still looking into it and it's like unraveling like so fast um and i'm i just want to 